According to Minister of Public Security Kamraj Ramjitan, youth-based violence is on the rise in Guyana. Shanice Beckles reports. Over the years, there has been an increase in youth-based violence. Societal issues such as unemployment, easy access to drugs and alcohol, unstable families and teenage pregnancies are among some of the major causes of poverty, one of the major contributors to youth-based crime and violence. At a recent forum, Minister of Public Security Honorable Kemraj Ramjitan highlighted the issue of crime at the youth level, stressing that it is among one of the major problems being faced in Guyana. The crime rates are not only heavy in Guyana, they are heavy in all across the Caribbean. Uh, and at national levels, what it is that will help bring crime and violence at the youth level down. <coughs> I agree that we have to look at ourselves. As Stefan said, we have to start changing ourselves. It must come from me and not you. And uh, there was an important passage that I had read from a very important president, Oscar Arias, the former president of Costa Rica, in a very brilliant but brutally frank article. We must look in the mirror, he said, and confront the reality that many of their problems, like inequality, crime, and environmental degradation, and especially crime, lie not in the stars, but in themselves, that is, the people. Only when, he said, they have confronted this reality that we are the problem, would Latin America attain the development that is so long sought? In that piece titled Culture Matters, The Real Obstacles to Latin American Development, he mentioned how Latins are prone to not applying and enforcing the huge amount of studies they conduct and the huge amount of laws they pass. Our legislators, he said, have probably passed more laws over the past 175 years than their counterparts anywhere in the planet. Yet, never have so many laws been ignored by so many for so long. Uncle. Does that not ring a bell here in Guyana? It does. Actually, I think it does. Mr. Ramjatan disclosed that implementations towards combating youth-based violence on a national level have proven futile. We in Guyana, and I can extend it without fear of being contradicted, to the Caribbean region, have been smitten by this same culture bomb, as it was mentioned here by Oscar Arias. Crime and violence, especially at the youth level, are two major enemies of our people. They are substantially internally caused and rooted. And we have passed a lot of laws and we have done a lot of studies here in Guyana and in the Caribbean concerning this issue. Yet somehow, crime and violence, especially at the youth level, loom large. So large we sometimes want to surrender the Honorable Minister elaborated. There is a certain machismo. We allow our boys here in the Caribbean and we find it acceptable. Parents! Yes, our boys, we treat them like little kings and we still give them, uh, which violates the equality we want to advance for our girls. I want to say that we have to drastically change this culture of our boys, otherwise, it makes it harder for them to become men. Our girls will always become women, leaving our boys back. And this is happening in the educational system too. This shift must see our men showing our boys through exemplary conduct that their parents are not simply providers. Our boys and men must exhibit a culture of care and companionship rather than control. Our young males in Guyana and in the Caribbean somehow want to beat up the other males. 
especially. And there is also another side of that. In sexual assault and domestic violence, they feel superior to women, and they want to beat them up too. There has been an increase in violence amongst pre-adolescents. That's some seven years ago this report came out. There has also been an increase in school violence. Violence was mainly used out of fear or in response of a perceived threat. Uh, of a perceived threat. And it went on to state that people seem not to know how to reconcile. Perceived threat, you want to use violence. Fifthly, youth violence is closely associated with violence in the community. And sixthly, the victimization of youth by peers and adults often lead to more violence. On the score of that gender dimension I mentioned is number one just now from that report, I want to say this. Mr. Ramjatan noted that the first step towards combating youth violence is through strategic implementations and policies that will create a culture that will see young people becoming assets rather than liabilities. Shinis Beckles reporting for Channel 8 